To place the hair object on the head of the desired character in ZBrush software, we act like this. First, we import the desired file of the hair object into the ZBrush. We convert both objects into two separate polygroups. We can select them separately later. In the tool menu in the polygroup section, click on the group visible option. We do exactly the same for the next object. Merge both objects together for more control and positioning of objects. To convert hair and metal part to an object in the Subtools menu, in the Merge section to save UV, activate the UV option and select Merge Down to merge our model. And then, we will change its size according to the character's head until it will be placed correctly on the skull. Then, we enter the desired hair color from the texture section and flip V it because the UV is being inverted in ZBrush. Then, we apply the texture to the hair and increase its transparency to show its hair texture well. Then, to place and trim the hair on the character's head, we use the move brush to move the hair meshes to the places that is needed. We do this just to fit the hair to the shape of this skull, and no changes are needed in the hair. The changes required with the move brush can also change the hairstyle according to our taste. To separate the hair and metal part, we can select the Group Split option in the Subtools menu in the Split section. After that, our model is ready for exporting and rendering. Help us grow with your likes and subscriptions.